Hi guys, my name is Elliot Harlan Bethel and I'm six days into a 40 day fast with no food. Um, my talk today is going to be about belief systems, but before I go on to that, um, I'm currently six days with no food. I am drinking water and coconut water with a pinch of pink Himalayan salt to, for the minerals. Um, and after an eight hour workshop yesterday, I did have a cup of black coffee, but this 40 days is going to be no food and nothing with too many calories in it. I mean, coffee and water and coconut water are, are, are pretty calorie free. Um, the coconut water's got some calories in, but it's pretty negligible compared to obviously a diet if you're eating food. Um, I am going to throw in tomorrow, starting Monday, and I think I'm going to do this um, for one day, possibly two days, um, every week over the four week period, is throw in a day hard dry, so that's no liquids either. Um, what I really find is that this breaks down the water that's stored in the fat cells. We store water in our fat cells like a camel, so that whenever we need um, sort of a uh, sort of recess of energy, um, this water is stored in the fat cells and that's used. Um, most of the negative, most of the cells that are used when you fast or hard dry fast, um, you will use all the negative cells before you use any of the, the healthy positive cells. So in effect, what you're left with at the end of a hard dry fast is the strongest version of yourself. Now, there's a lot of studies done recently about computers that are being designed because water stores a lot of memory, also stores a lot of emotion in the body. So if you've got a lot of built up emotion, um, and most disease is caused by suppressing feelings, which are emotions. So you can release a lot of emotions or a lot of repressed um, energy by fasting. Um, also, obviously crying is a very good one and sweatshops or um, saunas or steam rooms are very, very good for releasing this. Um, yeah, no, so just keep you updated about throwing in the, the hard dry fast. So I wanted to talk about belief systems today because um, obviously I mentioned in my first video about this 40 day fast that I'm doing that um, it's about taking your power back from the food um, because we've been told that we need to eat food three times a day. We, I believe we needed to meet, eat meat for the first 30 years of my life but then moving over to a plant-based diet I realised I was just as strong and a lot healthier without eating meat and now obviously I've been shown and I, I started to realise that when my energy system, my 114 chakras and specifically the seven main in the energy wheel of your body, when they're all aligned and your masculine and fem feminine energies are pretty much in unity and um, and balanced, your body doesn't actually need food. Um, I mean, I started to go through old religious teachings and stuff when I first started all of this about three years ago. Um, and I'm going to be doing a talk tomorrow about sim symbology because um, 33rd degree mason uh, Manly P. Hall says that when the human race understands symbology then it will unlock a lot of the secrets that have been hidden over the years. Um, I started to study, study symbology a couple of years ago and what I believe he was talking about was when the human race realises that when you live your bliss or when you live your enjoy, so you make every decision from enjoyment, um, you start to get what's called synchronicities. Um, synchronicities are like when you say to yourself, I haven't seen Jane for two years and then the next day Jane appears. Um, technically if you want to break this down it's because you've thought about her which your attention's gone to her, so your energy's then gone to her which has brought her in, back in. But synchronicity I believe is the symbology that Manly P. Hall was talking about because when you follow your synchronicity and when you follow the path that's there for you uh, and you follow your gut feeling and your intuition uh, intuitions when you're aligned with your top three chakras and gut feelings when you're aligned with your bottom three chakras when you follow this it's almost like the next decision or the next thing that you should do appears for you and you'll you know this by intuition gut feeling now what I believe he was talking about the symbology is when the human race starts following this this can't be manipulated like human language I believe human language is a very poor form of communication I don't believe it's long before telepathy comes in. I don't believe it's long before the human race is using well over 20% of their full brain capabilities. Um, I'm already doing this with a few friends already and it's pretty amazing how um, you can almost have a conversation with someone and they can come back with about 70% of that conversation um, just because you're tuned into the same vibration as that person. Um, so belief systems. Um, 
Masuro Moto showed that water can be affected by our thoughts and our talking to it. Not only that, it can be it can be um, changed by the words and the wording that we write on the packaging. So he found that when you write words like love and beauty and um, high vibrational words onto the side of a bottle of water, it would change the water's structure um, into like these very nice angelic crystalline structures. And when you wrote words like hate, it would change it into that. Now we stick labels on food, and when we stick labels on food, it changes the structure of that food. And it might not, some people might say it doesn't change the structure of the food, but it changes your belief system on the food. Now when you give your belief system to something, you're putting your attention on it. And when you put your attention on it, you give your energy to it. Because energy goes where attention flows. Or, yeah, so, when you do that, you give your power away to something. Um, now you can take your power back from this. Um, from day one, we give, our, we give our energy away to things. For the first six to seven years of our lives, our brain is in what is called a theta brainwave. Now theta brainwave is when we're most perceptible, but our brain's like a sponge. Um, and you think about it, this is when we go to school. Um, and for the first six years of our lives, we just plummeted with all this stuff about history and maths. And um, there's a very, very interesting video on YouTube if you type in the flea test. And what it shows you is that if you take a load of fleas and you put them in a jam jar, they will always jump out of the jam jar. But if you put that lid on the jam jar and you leave that lid on the jam jar for three days and then take the lid off, those fleas are now programmed to never jump any higher than the top of that jam jar. And the interesting thing is, when those fleas have children, the children will never jump higher than the jam jar because they don't know any different. And I believe that's what the schooling system does to the human race. I believe it limits us. I believe we're capable of so much more. And from what I've shown over the last three years, fasting, if your energy system and your 114 chakras are all aligned, you come you come from the sun, you come from light, you are pure light at the end of the day. I believe that we started off as a crystalline light structure and then we chose to embody these carbon meat suits or this 666 or this whatever um, protons, neutrons and electrons that we embody um, and we chose to do that to experience this. Um, in the Gospel of Thomas, it says, if they ask you where you come from, say you came from the light, where the light came into being itself, and I will go back to the light. You're made of pure light. There's loads of reference to this in all the religious teachings over the world. Um, and light is one of the most powerful things. The speed of light is amazing. Um, when you learn and when you realize that your body is just this electrical structure made up of certain energy ley lines called chakras, and you tune these in, um, you don't need anything outside of your body. Everything you need is within you. And again, another, another saying that's in the Bible, uh, everything you need is within you. The kingdom of heaven is within you, um, as within, so without. Um, I also notice that when you create worlds of peace, harmony, love, and integrity and truth within your structure, these things start to reflect in your outside world. So if you embody truth and you only speak your truth, which is something I've done for a very long time now, it's one of my affirmations I started saying about three years ago, and I'm going to be doing a whole video on affirmations and how powerful they are. When you embody a word like this, you start to vibrate at that level. And when you vibrate at that level, that's all that comes in. That's what you send out into your auric field. That's what you send out into your Taurus field. And then what happens is that's what's sent, that's what's sent out, and that vibration will draw that vibration back to you. So the people that come around you and the people you start hanging around with become very trustworthy, with integrity, very peaceful, and very harmonious. It makes a lot of sense when you break it down and it's always been this way, but I haven't heard many people explain it this way. And I think if I knew this stuff many years ago, um, it would have been great, but I've enjoyed getting to this point and I've enjoyed all my experiences. Um, so I can't complain. It's, um, it's been a very, very fun and good journey. Um, so belief systems, take your power back from the things you've given it away to. Um, and this is not just food. This can be TV, radio, um, any distraction that takes your attention away. When, it, when you give your attention to something, that's an energy leakage. So when I, when I work with people who want some healing or anything like that, I will say to them, spend some time on your own. Um, Spend some time away from a partner because their energy can affect you. Spend some time away from family. Spend some time away from friends.
because all of these people have an energy version of you in their mind and not one of those versions is the same. So your dad will have a different version of you in his head from your mum. Your boss will have a different version of you in his head from your co-worker. And when you're around these people, their projected versions of you will affect your energy unless, you, unless you're very strong in your energy field and you know how to protect your energy. When you're around certain people, you're, you start to affect and, and, and act in the way they want you to act because their projection of you is quite powerful and it affects your energy. There is ways you can stop this, but we're going to that on another day. But if you spend a lot of time on your own and you find out what your own energy is about, that's when you can really step into your own power. That's when you take your energy back from most things. Especially it's even more powerful if you can do some meditation because when you're meditating, you're taking your thoughts away from everything. You're cutting off your five senses. There's a saying in the Gospel of Thomas that says, when you, there's five trees in heaven. Um, and when you realize about these trees and how to use them properly, um, you will not see death. When you realize how to use your five senses properly, and that's taste, touch, sound, uh, sight, and hearing. I think there's, there's five there, and you, you can Google them. It's, um, but when you learn how to use these properly, and if you're trying to manifest something or um, bring something into light, then you need to cut off your five senses. You need to stop your senses around you and visualize what you want and believe that that's happened. Another saying in the Bible, pray fast and pray and also believe that when you pray that it is already here. So you have to, if you want that car, if you want that house, if you want that job, if you want that girlfriend, you have to cut your senses off and you have to visualize it and you have to believe that it's happened. Because when you cut your senses off from it, your subconscious mind and your mind doesn't realize whether something's real or not. So if you can make it believe it, it starts to draw, send out that vibration and draw that vibration back to you. Um, I hope this video has been educational. If you've got any questions, then please do email me. Um, I was trying to keep this at under 10 minutes a day, but this one's run slightly over. Um, tomorrow I'll be going into more depth about symbology and symbolism. Um, so yes, please like and share these videos because I want to get this out to as many people as possible. Um, yeah, and I hope you all had a good weekend and have a blessed start to your week approaching. Thank you for watching.